Hi, um, we're going to go ahead and start this uh, process painting to go along with the uh, um, Be the Medicine workshop that I'm leading along with my colleague. And um, this first process I'm going to be demonstrating in the class is just uh, covering the white. So multiple selecting, um, I don't know, three or four different colors that you're drawn to that you want to work with. Don't overthink it. Just go with what jumps out at you. And then I'm just kind of applying the paint across the canvas, leaving some areas of white. I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just doing. I'll leave some white. And then I really love the look of the dripping paint. So I apply the spray bottle in several different directions and it softens the, the paint and it makes some thinner, some lighter. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some other colors here. I've got some um, white and some, I think this is yellow ochre, it's that kind of a golden yellow color. I'm just mixing the paint around. I also like to um, take paper I have lying around in the studio. This is for my last one that I did. And um, apply the paper to the paint while it's wet. And then I, I peel it back. And then I, I use these papers for collage and future projects, but it creates really interesting texture. Sometimes with the um, application of the acrylic paint and spraying it, you can get a lot happening maybe too much, too much paint, too much water. So this is a way to just pick up some of that paint. Um, I just revealed the yellow underneath here. And I'm gonna apply some more. It's more yellow, it's kind of golden yellow. I'm gonna paint the edges. Um, when you do this kind of process painting, really important, you um, don't overthink anything. You're just in the moment, kind of get into your how you're feeling, you know, your emotional state, but without any judgment, without any like, oh, this looks terrible. I don't like this. It's actually probably good if there's some parts you don't like because we're going to be covering this up in the next three sessions, um, a whole range of different processes. So just get it to a place where. Um, you like what's happening. I'm using the back side now because like, this one's covered. Also getting into the, the hands in paint can be very <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> Bring in the child. Whoops. It's so enjoyable. I actually um, left my iPad at school and we're, we're snowed in now so I'm getting creative with how to use my <laughs> my phone to do the video. So um, kind of like that. Anyway, so the next session is going to be uh, Do you gel. Want to paint because you like doing the video. No, I love to paint, and the purpose of the video is to be able to share what I'm doing with other people that might be interested in also painting and experimenting and trying things. So we can have a community of people that like to paint together and learn from each other and inspire each other. They can post theirs. Yeah, and they can post theirs, and I would love it. So you don't really need to know too much about paint or techniques um, to jump in and try this out. Um, the water and the acrylic makes a nice wash. Um, I like to use multiple brushes, so got two big ones here, just broad strokes. If you want a more smooth surface versus super textured. So um, the next step is going, once this dries, um, will be to locate and find uh, photos and images to make black and white photocopies of that can then um, be transferred in with the image transfer process. The light's kind of glaring on this a little bit. My brush is making a shadow. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. So just quick, short, 
in any painting that I do, um, I love to start with covering up the white. Just fill it, cover it, and then I can paint my foreground on top. Here's an update of the um, oh, my self-portrait. I did a photo shoot and um, I'm changing up the light source and it shifted a lot from the last time I posted the videos. Um, but I just wanted to use this as an example of the, the background. I did this background the same way that I just demonstrated um, in the classroom as a demo. And uh, I'm gonna do some more layers on top of it, but I love it as a starting place to then. I actually, for this particular piece, I saw, it was gonna be a bird. This painting was gonna be of a bird, but in the background, I saw an exact like edge of like chin, um, side of the face and like shoulder. And I saw the portrait like in the background before I'd even thought about doing a self portrait. So I love being in tune with the materials and thinking about, you know, what I see in them. And for, you know, process painting and working through stuff <laughs> with our creative expression, um, that's a good, good place to be in because, you know, sometimes we don't know. We don't know what we want to do, what the next step is, and trusting the process and the answers appear, I guess, is kind of like the little lesson in that. Anyway, I um, look forward to sharing more with you guys and uh, hope you uh, test it out, try it out, and uh, have fun.